Hello everyone and welcome back to another little video on this SDR Connect evaluation copy. Um, got a couple of comments uh, wanting me to show uh, HF bands and this and that. And I thought, well, I haven't done it yet, so we're going to experience this together. I don't know what's going to happen. This is going to be just down, dirty, and raw. We're going to just fire up the software. We're going to play around with some settings, and we're going to see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen. It could crash. It might surprise us and work really good. It may work crappy. I don't know, but let's get into it and see. So let me launch SDR Connect. Up here in a 16-meter band, we're just going to mess around and see what happens here. So let me unmute this. Okay, let's go to the bands. Let's try... Uh, well, for all you ham operators, I'm not a ham operator, but we'll try and, well, I'll try one, see what happens. So let's go to 12. And let's go to 10. Let's see what happens in the audio here. Um, low cut is on 50. Don't really notice much there. Don't know what that does yet. So, low cut for sideband. Okay, you can hear that. Uh, this is for FM. We're not on FM. So, auto filter. I don't know. I didn't hear much of an effect. Did you? If you guys heard some, let me know. And there it's off. Maybe a little bit. And there it's on. Turn this thing Creating too much noise. Okay. Uh, let's see. Audio routing is both. That's fine. Audio device fault, default, okay, audio filter. Okay, maybe a little auto limiter. Yeah. Sideband low cut. Yeah. Okay, we, and what that works is, like I said, this is FM stereo stuff. So, let's try... Let's try the low bands, because like I said, I'm not a ham operator, so I don't, you know. Okay, so get that 5 to 25, uh, but 56, I think. You can, you can see it's, it's framing. Oh, it's with D23. I call yes. that lob fest. There's the low cut when they quit talking. Yeah, somebody they were faint, but uh, yeah. Kind of shows you what that does on on that, and it it frames it pretty good. So, whose purpose is to assist those seeking to contact other stations or areas. 
to provide weather and travel okay, let's information. Let's go back to the broadcast bands because all right, let's pick up broadcast band and see how it frames it. So let's go to that would be nineteen. And did it switch back to AM? Find out where find out where we're at. Yeah, it's back on AM, okay. Yeah, music playing, let's get that off of there or we'll get in trouble. Yeah, let's see. Filter is 6K. Alright, let's go back to the audio section. No, that doesn't do anything. The AM low cut. Put it down low. I think it sounds better when it's on low. And the audio filter makes a little difference. There, that seems to do something. I don't know. Yeah, let's see. Control. We're on, we're on AM. Let's try. Try sync. Yeah, maybe. Filter preset. Eight. Eight six. Tuning step. Tuning step size, you got all your tuning step sizes right there. Don't know. Is it be doing anything? Did you see? Did you see profile? I like the amount of medium. Squelch, we're not using that. What, what happens if you turn it on? Okay, you get the squelch line. Squelch threads. Squelch threshold. Okay, I get that. Audio, we've done. Device audio, that's your sound card. Routing through both speakers, audio filter. We checked all that out. Bands, we've done that. We're, we're framing the 19 meter band right now. Again, like I said, you hand bands, high. I'm not a ham operator, so I don't really mess around in all that, because I'm not into that. But we'll check it out again. Power display is both S meter only. Okay, that takes this away right here. Uh, measurement only. Okay. Both. Swap digits, we know that just changes the frequency, moves it over there. This is the waterfall, wind red, that's fine. So, I know you, a lot of you guys like the uh, listen to ham operators, and that's fine. I'm not into it, but we're going to we'll try it again anyway. Uh, let's see, not high, please. Let's try. Damn, I hate the way this thing out. And um, well, it's working well. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say it's working right well now. anyway, even with the. Uh, the, uh, I can already tell you so right now, I'm, right now, I'm still uh, preferring SDR Uno uh, yeah, what, over this now. Quick, uh, I may change uh, my mind later on. 
as they progress with it and stuff. SDR Uno and SDR Console is still going to be my preferred method. I can't find a way to do direct frequency entry by hitting the Keyboard Roger, or, I, I run a Power Star SF so Auto. Uh, yeah, and I run a QR, a QRO. Yeah, uh, let's try this again. Anyway, so, yeah, we're running about uh, 930 watts here uh, right now, anyway. So, all right, buddy. That sounds better, good. Well, Dick, It's good to hear you in here. Things are definitely sounding a lot better, so it sounds like, uh, sounds like you're on the right track here, sir. Well, we've got a couple more to check in here, uh, Dick. You're going to ride along with us. Roger, Roger. But that's all this does is when you select right, it, it good, selects your bands, well, frames it up here, here quick, and you can set your audio and, and stuff like that. So, Greg, in for our that Come on in and check in, sir. gives you an idea of what it is. A little bit noisy on the bands today. I'm in a quiet location out in the country, but during the daytime with the solar higher solar activity, I get quite a bit of you know interaction with the sun today. Usually my noise floor is around S1, but today it's up there around S3 with all. But I've never listened during the daytime hardly. Almost nighttime. So let's go over here. Recording. Let's. Okay, but I have no file SDR Connect, but it doesn't tell you where it's going to. Is it on my second drive, on my hard drive, C drive, where's it going? It doesn't tell you. And this will give you the option where to send it. Let's stop that, so. Okay, that's really weird. And like I said, I guess an evaluation version. This is just to let you get the feel of what it's going to be like. All the features aren't there yet, so, you know, it's still a work in progress. But that's sort of what the band framing does. You, know, you do 25 meters. And So I can get some overload. Thirty-one. Too early in the day for that. I think that's Radio Havana, Cuba. That gives you an idea, though, of, of how it works and stuff like that and what the filters sound like and, and things. Like I said, these settings in here, you just have to install the software, play around with it, see what it does because I'm just starting to play around with this myself so I'm not an expert by any means and, but I can say so far what I've seen I, I will probably be using regular SDR Uno and SDR console most of the time I mean I can't fully judge this yet until it's done and the first non-preview copy is available with you know everything that so far but uh, as of right now I don't think this is really going to throw me that much I, I, I prefer SDR Uno and SDR console but I may change my mind on this but this you know, kind of gives you a little I said you can point and click and it doesn't seem to be saving the 
doesn't seem to be saving a lot of my settings right now when I change things. But, you know, whatever, I guess. I just put that in the middle, I guess, and leave it there. Play around with it later, but anyway, this just a quick little demonstration. I, I know everybody has a lot more questions. How does this work? How does this work? Well, honestly, I don't know yet. And uh, I just wanted to, I just had a couple of questions of how to, to show what it does when you do the band framing and things like that. And that's what it does. So if you have an SDR play, not the very first one, but an SDR, RSP, one later, or 1A, I should say 1A and later, download this, play around with it, and, and just try the different options to see what, see what happens. You can't break it, just try something, remember what you did, and then if it doesn't, you don't like the effect, just back it back off and change it back to the way it was. That's, you know. But that's a little bit of, of what it is and stuff in here. I don't know what's going on with this. And is that how you set the notches? I don't know. You know, it, it, it could do something. It couldn't, may not. See, nothing happens when you click there, so I don't know. But anyway, you know, thanks for wasting a little more time with me. And, and yeah, this is SDR Connect, and I can make that a little bigger, get rid of those options in the center. And you, I think you can make the... You can speed things up. See, there's the real slow... There's fast. I like it just a little. I don't like it looking like we're having an earthquake or something, but a little bit slower. Average waterfall. You know, makes it a little more grainy, I guess. The gain darkens it up a little bit. Like that. The base changes the base of your that reference level. You know, you can change the reference level and stuff. That's uh, and yeah, whatever. I'll play around with it a little bit longer and see what happens. But yeah, if you want to try it, download it and you know, give it a shot. Like I said, you can't break it. Just every time you change a setting, remember what you did, so you can put it back. And as you're playing around and i mean that's that's what i'm doing right now so take it easy everyone and uh we'll see you next time <laughs>